Hello and welcome back to another video on this channel. Today is going to be my first video in a traveller's notebook. So I have decided to start doing monthly reviews and so I ordered one of these um, monthly calendar traveller's notebooks off AliExpress. I can, I will link the seller down below. And I did January and this is how January ended up turning out. So I've just done like a daily highlight or something that happened each day, just so that like I can have somewhere where I have everything that happened and rather than having to sit down and read through my journal and like go through all the words and all the stuff that happens more or less every day that I record, I can just sit down and go, oh, I had KFC for lunch on the first, a bit hungover. Uh, I drove back up to York for uni on this day. I celebrated my birthday, I spent a day on the sofa, I went on a long walk and did scrapbooking. Like I Obviously I do do work most days and so like I'm not going to write, oh I did uni work for every day. But um, when that was all I really did in a day, that's all I really had to do. So I just put some books and say, oh I had a productive study day or this was an exam day and this was an exam day and it snowed so it gets two stamps. So I really liked how this ended up turning out. So a few things that I want to change, I realised when I finished doing this that it looked a bit kind of not defined. So I went round with a pen just to outline the calendar and I'd stamped outside of the calendar because I do have the stamps going over some of the uh, day borders, which I like, but I want it to all be contained within a calendar. I also realised when I finished that this side panel was completely bare and it looked really strange. So I decided to stamp lockdown 3.0 because in the UK we are currently in our third lockdown. I had something to fill that space but I think it's going to be much nicer to stamp the month along this side and um, rather than having it down here and have the washi tape run this whole way. I had originally planned to have the month up here and have it all shifted down one but the, they look a bit strange on the bottom, it just kind of like finishes, there's no line for the end so I thought oh I counted them and I thought I had enough to have this gap at the bottom and have another gap at the top but obviously I didn't and I started counting the numbers backwards rather than forwards so it ended up I started with this 31 stamp so it ended up meaning that I did it completely wrong so I'm going to completely copy this layout actually because February is going to be a perfect little four week box. So I think my plan is um, washi running along both of these boxes that are no longer used. And I am matching this with my bullet journal spread. So if you want to see my February setup for my bullet journal, I have a video on my channel and I will link it. But I am going to use one of the washi tapes I used in that. So I used this lemon washi tape because it's pancake day and it was all centered around pancake day. So I'm going to use that lemon washi, run it along there and have the February written here. Now all of my stamps are from AliExpress. Apart from I have now realized, I didn't know at the time of ordering, but a lot of my stamp sets are rips off of Everyday Explorer stamp sets. I'm pretty certain this is an Everyday Explorer stamp set. Um, these two are Everyday Explorer stamp sets. I'm pretty certain I got them all off the same listing. So obviously these were a lot cheaper and they're not as good quality. And so I paid, I think, three pounds for these and they're $20 for the Everyday Explorer ones. But I don't like support the fact that people are ripping off people who are designing them because obviously the design is part of the cost so I'm not going to be buying any more Stamps from Express that I know are rip-offs of like complete direct copies um, of other people's work. <laughs>
It is now the next day and last night I actually decorated the front cover of this so I just put monthly review and put this washi tape along so I think that looks really cute. Um, so and then I stamped 2021 in the front here and then this is how it ended up looking like for the rest of this month. Now I'm going to continue doing it like this till the end of February and then I think this looks quite um, busy and I like how it looks but I actually remembered that I had ordered these weekly these weekly spread traveller's notebooks and as I had um, wanted to put like if I wanted to put three four things in a little box I might as well have it so that I um, have room here I can put as much as I want here and I can write a bit more about what it is and I think I might try and put a little picture for each day in these boxes I'm not 100% um, sure obviously Saturday and Sunday are half the size which when you're planning out your week makes sense but in terms of um, having as looking back at your memories obviously Saturday and Sunday are probably going to be busier than in the week I think this will be quite nice I might end up doing kind of more of a time along the side and then maybe having it like when I did each thing and decorating in between I'm not sure but I think that I'm going to start doing this um, and I'm going to start having it more like this these two boxes so just kind of have like one stamp to represent the main thing of the day and writing underneath what I did and I think that would look a lot less cluttered and busy and I'll be able to see um, more clearly what actually happened each day because even when I have just put like one thing I've kind of like decorated it a bit more and like here I go for a walk with Chloe every week so do I really need to put it in each week I didn't actually put pizza in each week because we were having homemade pizzas pretty much we've started having it on Thursday now I think we had it on Wednesday this week so I didn't have room for it but I think that that's just like, I don't need that on my monthly overview. Like it's fun to see that that was like a trend, but I'll be able to see it like in this little book. So I think that I'm going to start doing that in the future. If you like this video and like how my spread came out, then please consider giving the video a thumbs up. I will probably do a, another video where I finish the month obviously it's actually now the 13th the morning of the 13th but I can only go up to as far as it is so let me know if you'd like me to do that or maybe I will just do marches and show you how February ended up turning out if you enjoyed please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you in my next video